Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you give this video a like and turn the red to the gray. And if you're returning, welcome back. Greatly appreciated. I'm going to be reading a passage from my Bible today. Um, and reading a daily prayer. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. I'm going to be reading Isaiah 64, 1 through 12. If only you would split open the heavens and come down, the mountains would quake at your presence, but be like the fire in that kind kindles brushwood and makes water boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies. The nations will tremble in your presence when you did an all experiencing, inspiring things that we did not expect. You came down to the mountains, quaked in your presence. No one ever has ever heard. No one has paid attention. No one has seen any good except you. You help those who wait for you. You greeted the one who gladly does right and remembers your ways. You showed your anger because you sinned. We've continued to sin for a long time. Can we still be saved? We've all become unclean, and all our righteousness acts are like permanently stained rags. All of the shrivel-like leaves in our sins carry us away like the wind. No one calls your name or tries to hold on to you. You have hidden your face from us. You have let us be ruined by our sins. But now, the Lord, you are the Father. You are the clay. You are the potter. You are the work of hands. Don't be too angry, Lord. Do, don't remember our sins forever. Now look, we are all your people. Your holy cities have become a desert, Zion has become a desert. Jerusalem is a wasteland. Our holy and beautiful temple where our ancestors praised you has burned you to the ground. All that you valued has been ruined. Despite these things, Lord, will you hold back? Will you be silent <clears throat> and make us suffer more than we can bear but remember all of us will still be God's children and he will always love us for who we are and he will never judge us. And they always say to never judge anybody because it's not right. God made us for who we are. And God made us the way he wanted us to be made. And just always remember that God will never give up on you. But today's daily prayer is, Father, I thank you for who you are, one who delivers me in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's from 2 Samuel 22:44. But know that Jesus is always there for us when we need him.
and he will never give up on us. And I will never give up on you guys. And I hope all of you have an amazing day. It's like all night yesterday it rained and stormed. It was pretty loud. I mean, <laughs> but just know that I love you for who you are. And that's all that matters. But if any of you have any prayer requests, please feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll be gladly to pray for you. And, and I hope everyone has an amazing Saturday morning slash day. Love you all. Stay blessed. Bye.